It's not the graduation speech students expect. At Purdue University Northwest, the chancellor made a racist joke that left many offended. Well, all I can say is, Hi, that's, that's sort of my Asian version of his. Uh... That's Chancellor Thomas Keon responding to an earlier speaker who said he made up languages to calm his granddaughter. Student Gerardo Gary Bay Jr. was present at the December 10th ceremony. He was surprised by the joke and described what happened after. I didn't hear anyone complaining much after uh, the comment was made. They just kind of kept going as if business, business as usual. Keon came to the university in 2011. His resume includes a 2016 award for diversity and inclusion from the industry magazine Insight into Diversity. The university, located about a 40-minute drive from Chicago, recently ranked top 20 in the Midwest for campus diversity by U.S. News and World Report. I don't think that's not good for us. International student from South Korea and freshman Minwa Lee was shocked. It was on a public stage. But he's just joking about that. That's not a language. So I think that's not an appropriate situation. The joke was met with laughter on site during the ceremony. But online, it's a different story. One asked for Keon's removal, calling it wildly inappropriate. Another asked for accountability, that the joke was a racist, made-up language. Professor Kevin Nadal from John Jay College was one of those critics. I was quite shocked. Um, how could someone who was the leader of a university think that it would be okay, especially in this era? Keon has since issued an apology. He says, I am truly sorry for my unplanned off-the-cuff response to another speaker, adding, we are all human. I made a mistake. Keon also said he's leading a team to look into Asian American issues at the school. Newsy reached out to the university and they had no comment. Still, the apology wasn't enough for some student organizations. PNW Fight Back demanded his resignation. Over 100 students and supporters have signed a petition for his removal. Students at the PNW Marketing Club issued a statement saying they will not be collaborating with Keon or anyone directly working with him. I spoke with their president. I don't want to be part of the problem, basically. I want to be on the right side of history, and in doing so, I think it's holding people accountable. Keon's racist joke was said at a time when anti-Asian sentiments and hate incidents are high. Stop API Hate tracked nearly 11,500 hate incidents in the first two years of the pandemic. Kat Sandoval, Newsy, Hammond, Indiana.